Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another AM session with Newton School. Today we have Aman with us. Hello Aman, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. What about you? I'm I'm totally fine. So this is your first live session that you're doing, right? Yes, yes. This is my first session. So are you nervous or you know you are how how confident are you now? Yeah, I'm a little bit. Uh, yes, yes, little bit uh, nervous because this is my first session. The bit on and live it is. So little bit, but no issues. That's totally understood. Uh, you don't have to be nervous because uh, the things that you say about your experience can be beneficial for our viewers as well. So yeah. be open. Just speak out all the things that that you have about the experience and about uh, your experience in Newton School and about the tech industry. Because now that you're working, so you might have a good understanding about that, right? Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, Aman, how did you get to know about Newton School? Uh, actually, I uh, get to know about the Newton School from my friends. Uh, they are pursuing in a Newton School. They okay. told me about the benefits of a Newton School and uh, how Newton Schools work. So they enrolled me and they helped me in an enrollment, and okay. uh, then I started with the Newton School. Got so your friends were in Newton School, and then uh, they yes. suggested you Newton School as well. Yeah. Cool. Your background is uh, not CS, right? It's electronics, I assume. Yes, yes, yes. I'm from electronics and communication engineering. Got it. So, did you join Newton School after your degree, or you know, while you were pursuing your degree in the last year? Actually, I'm in a last year. Uh, I recently graduated from my college, and uh, I started uh, last year Newton School. Okay. In my last semester. Got it. Got it. So why did you, you know, plan to switch your career from uh, electronic to coding? Actually, I am interested in a coding. Actually, uh, I don't okay. want a EC. I unfortunately get a EC. So, okay. so I I make a plan for the to start a coding. So and uh, Newton School provide me that platform. Got it. Got it. So when you were studying EC, I mean electronics. The, yeah. From that moment, you were uh, very sure that you want to pursue coding ahead in your life. Yeah, got it. So, did you learn a few things by yourself, or did you start completely from scratch when you joined Newton School? Uh, actually, I'm an engineer, so we engineers don't get a time for the self study. So yeah. last, uh, so we said uh, uh, actually uh, COVID start to, uh, from 2020, and. Uh, the colleges are closed, so I got a chance to explore the coding. I started, but not I'm getting good success. So mm -hmm. I continually studying. I'm stuck in HTML, CSS. But uh, when I started a Newton School, I get a boost. You can say, and you can't uh, imagine that I don't uh, love to work on a Java. And after the Newton School, I love to work with a Java. Got it. Got it. Cool. So, so yeah, as you told that you won't be having much time with engineering because yes, yes. especially for a different field completely. Yeah. That is, I think a lot of actually we have all, we have all many assignments, so we don't have a time. Correct. Correct. I think what you just told a lot of engineers might relate to this. Yeah. Because I am not from engineering, but I have my friends who are pursuing engineering who have completed engineering. So I I know that they always speak about assignments and things like that. Yes, yes. Correct. So, was the one thing, uh, so why, why coding? Like, why were you, is there any specific reason that you were interested in coding or just like that? No, there is not a specific uh, reason for to love the coding. Actually, uh, <coughs> when you love something, uh, there is no reason for this. Correct. Wow. That is some philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's really nice, though. That's really nice. Okay. Uh, so when you switched your career and you joined Newton School, uh, was it tough for you to, you know, learn coding from scratch or did you felt it was difficult or uh, you thought that, oh, did I make the wrong decision? Did, did you have any feelings like that? Yes, yes. I feel, you know, starting actually, uh, Newton, Newton School starts from the Java and I don't like Java. So it is very difficult to me. And they, actually, there are many students, and so much competition is there. 
but uh, by the mentorships and uh, good faculty i make a good environment and actually i also uh, make a good friends with me mm-hmm. so they help me in a java and uh, then it's good to normal got it. so i think this depends person to person you know some people who are yeah. there who like java some people yeah. uh, for example you who might not be well you know connected with java yes yes so again depends person to person so later on then when you started learning about java and other things vsa yes so did you cope up with that very you know properly yes 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 sir. yes yes i am um, working with the java and uh, i am now i'm feeling very comfortable with the java and okay. also with the dsa so it's good to me that's nice so did you get help from mentor sessions yes it's uh, helped me very very much actually uh, without mentors sir, we can't do anything i think because they always motivate us that you can do it you can do it you can do it and we do it correct so the mentor so, sessions how, are very necessary very important right so did you have any you know special mentor who really helped you uh yeah even so, you know so i got a mentor uh, so far so i got a mentor so far so he helped me in a java and also in a full stack development uh he is a great mentor i think okay that's nice so you used to have classes you know during the you know later at me i mean from 9 or 10 yes yes right? so after the class do you think uh, it was it very comfortable to ask doubts with the mentors even though it's late was yeah, it that comfortable it's, uh, actually it's sometimes it's difficult but uh, we have a environment we have a mm-hmm. not a teacher and a uh, student we have a friends like so okay. when we are talking of friends we don't feel anything so we will release our stress and all things we have just we want to discuss anything correct correct good and how did mock interviews help you yeah it's helped me very much it's uh, uh, removed my nervousness actually and the also it removed my uh, facing the camera and talking to the person you know, in the front of camera so it's helped me very good good like can you hear me yes yes i can i think there was a small internet issue with that cool uh, yeah. no issue I, i i was able to hear you okay and uh, so what so basically it built built your confidence yes built your confidence uh, you know while giving the actual interview what i said yes and did it help you in communication as well yeah actually it's helped very much in a communication also because when we are you are facing a interview you have to think out many things like communication confidence and giving the answers so the mock interviews helps in these things many things got it so how many mock interviews uh, did you give with newton school so newton schools provide uh, via sections each interview so i think i have given more than 20 interviews 20 interviews in total yeah you got it so actually i placed uh, earlier yes. Yes. so i tell didn't me. get a chance for it sorry we couldn't hear you i am saying that uh, i placed earlier so i didn't get get chance to face many mock interviews okay 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 that is a good thing yeah right that's a very good thing that literally means that you were very confident in your you know early stages of actual interviews very yes. good so that's a good thing uh, so tell me aman how did you feel when you got the job when you got placed yeah it's very great great feeling i think uh, because you know there is a pandemic and uh, many people are losing their jobs and i got a job <laughs> so this feeling is awesome so i'm very that's happy good. amazing so how did you celebrate with your parents or with your family yeah i uh, celebrate with uh, my friends family my sisters everything i do so what did you did you go out somewhere to eat no not uh, outside actually there uh, there pandemic situation so oh, yeah, we yeah, can't yeah, go yeah. outside but we celebrate our home. so you were placed in back back in 2020 i assume uh no 2021 21 okay okay got cool so was it tough 
so being a student from electronics or from a totally different field how tough was it for you to you know get into coding see uh, in starting we face some difficulties because it's mm. tough to start new things mm. and there is lots of pressure in the last year mm. so uh, but when i uh, learn new things so i decided that do not forget about the job don't think just only learn things because i know that newton school is there correct so correct. we we know that the, they uh, give us the companies many companies until we placed so got i forgot it. about these things and only focus my, on my learnings got it. that is a great thing to do because you won't be under pressure of the job so you are yes. doing what you doing and you excel at it that is one good advice also i would like you to you know uh, by the ending i just want you to tell our audience uh, yes. now that you know during the live there won't be a lot of audience but after when we upload the video the video gets a lot of views as well so i want those people to know uh, you know from you that any kind of tip or suggestion that you have for people who are trying to switch their career from you know any other field to coding any tip you have for them with your experience yeah. that you uh see if you are changing up a field so you, in a starting you face face many issues but mm -hmm. you have to hold that and uh, stick on it and uh, i think newton will uh, help us so just uh, work on it and don't be focus and don't be think about the job you will definitely get a job from a newton school i'm sure you will so only focus on your learnings that's it got it a lot of people have also said the same answer that keep focus just keep working hard uh, for uh, like you know yeah focus on what you are studying and you will be best for sure is what a lot of people have told earlier as well cool yes yes no problem thank you so much aman it was really a very productive session i i hope yeah. that it will be it will be helpful for our viewers as well yeah thank you so much so thank you thank you bye